cyber threats are evolving faster than ever. So, how do you stay ahead of the game? Enter Recorded Future, the ultimate threat intelligence software that helps you detect, analyze, and respond to cyber threats in real time. In today's video, we will walk you through the key features of Recorded Future, show you how to leverage real-time threat intelligence, and give you expert tips to enhance your cybersecurity strategy. So, let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to visit the official website, which is going to be recordedfuture.com. From here, I want you to click the get a demo option on the top right corner. You see the blue button because it's very important for you to try and test the waters before you decide if you want to commit recorded feature as going to be your platform for smart threat intelligence. All you have to do is very simple. Provide all the information and then you should be able to receive a welcome email to confirm your account. Click the confirm your email and you will be forwarded to the main dashboard or, or homepage of recorded feature triage. Basically, this platform is a threat intelligence software that helps analysts prioritize and investigate potential security threats efficiently. All right. So basically, there are two sections on the top left corner, the submit and reports section. Now for the submit, if you click on it, it's basically here. All right. This section allows you to submit suspicious files, IP addresses, URLs, or other threat indicators. So you can drop a file for analytics. You can browse or drag and drop. I'm going to click on the browse section. You see optional password. I'm not going to put in the password. I'm going to click on the submit button. Let's see what we got. All right. So. Once it's submitted, you would notice that recorded future will process and provide threat intelligence, including risk scores right here. Score is one out of 10. So basically it's, um, doesn't contain anything malicious. All right. Now it also gives you a, uh, potential associations with unknown threats. It helps security teams quickly assess if an enemy is malicious and whether it requires further investigation. So the platforms you need to decide which is going to be this so any windows machine would do language is going to be uh english but if you prefer spanish french and italian japanese and it's up to you do you require internet access so we're gonna p turn it on timeout is around the default it's going to be 2.5 minutes but of course you can choose the timeouts sessions these are going to be some of the browsers you can use google chrome firefox internet explorer and of course microsoft edge we're going to use the browser automatic and click the uh, analyze button all right so there's going to be an error file tree click on analyze I'll select this one out of three. Now, loading times may vary depending on the extent of your file. If it's a huge file, definitely, right? It'll take some time. Now, you would notice that this is going to be the live monitor where you can select an active session to interact with or open a report of a completed an analysis. You can use this if you want. All right extend analysis if you want so you could have more in-depth report or terminate if you wanted so that we can go back to here all right so now once the uh, analysis is finished click the open report you can resubmit download sample all right and of course, download PCAP, download PCAP, PNG, and feedback. This section basically gives you access to, th to uh, threat intelligence reports generated by recorded features. So they work both hand in hand or user submissions. Reports can include threat analysis right here, target, size, 
emerging attack techniques, and in-depth assessments of cyber threats. Now, with this in mind, security teams can use these reports to stay informed about the latest threats and enhance their security posture. All right, score is one of out of ten. That means the uh, threat level. So basically, the uh, file that I attach is kind of like it doesn't contain anything. Right? You have the manual configuration here. You see, uh, doesn't contain any ma malicious file. Now you can share this URL right here to social media. For example, copy URL, send it to Discord, WhatsApp, to your social media channels, to Twitter, or email if you have like a business or working email, which is kind of helpful if you have, uh, if you're working with a client or working with multiple freelancers or your team members. All right. Now, on the top corner or top right corner and these are going to be some of the more options for you all right number one is going to be the feedback feedback if you want to create a feedback from um from the uh, recorded future because as you can see we are on the free trial all right if you want to submit any feedback you are welcome to do with that basically this for example if you find incorrect assessments or missing information you can send feedback so they can submit corrections or additional context the next is going to be the machines now machines are here to make sure that the integration with security tools automations and apis are correct including settings and configuring automated threat analysis all right so basically it helps automate security workflows and optimize threat intelligence usage basically there's a lot if you have it down below so we're not going to dive deep into this instead we're going to go to the docs Docs is basically a section that provides documentations and additional resources about recorded features triage. So you can use this for a uh, platform effectively. It may include FAQs, API documentations, best practices, reading materials, useful for both new and experienced users looking to maximize the platform's capabilities. You have the overview report, triage cloud API, and a lot more. All right. You see there's option here to toggle contrast if you want and then there's going to be an option going back here let's go back to the home page next is going to be the account account is going to be settings of uh if you wanted to uh create an analysis stats but the thing is what's more important is going to be the upgrade button if you feel that triage is going to be the intelligence threat software for your company you might want to scale up to have faster more confident identification of threats and increase visibility of zero days with all these again all i have to do is provide the information needed here on the uh form and contact the triage now what i'm going to do is go back to the submit report there are more options here for the api uh, access and the url fetch basically you can submit url you can retrieve files and urls in various ways so what i'm going to do is quickly i'm gonna go to our official youtube channel go here copy the url right and then very quickly switch to recorded features triage click that click the analyze let's see what we will got from this report all right and again similar to the earlier click the analyze right here to see the report you have the live monitor you can extend analysis terminate in mouse simulation or full screen all right so basically that's a wrap for today's video now you know how to harness the power of recorded feature to stay ahead of any cyber threats and keep your data safe if you found this video helpful do not forget to hit that like button subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll never miss out on more cyber security insights thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video